A new poll shows it could be a long night counting ballots for a push to legalize marijuana in Ohio. The University of Akron found registered voters are evenly divided on the issue. 46% support issue 3, 46 oppose, 8% are still undecided. The poll finds it could come down to who turns out, and as NBC4's Renee LaSalle tells us, medical marijuana supporters help voters support their needs. Yeah, Colleen, still a lot of controversy about this ballot issue, but issue three would legalize recreational marijuana for anybody 21 and older and medical marijuana across the board. But it also limits the initial commercial production to just 10 sites controlled by the investors in the campaign that are trying to get it passed. Opponents call that a monopoly, but supporters say it would open the field for research and make the product they use safer. I would be in pain, I wouldn't be able to eat, and I wouldn't be able to sleep. 57-year-old Victoria Dawson Kahn is a supporter of medical marijuana and issue three. She's plastering Licking County with signs to prove it. I don't have to live on pain medicine. The grandmother of eight uses cannabis to help ease her chronic pain and health issues. In downtown Columbus, former talk show host Montel Williams says he uses it too. Cannabis is just another weapon in my arsenal. Williams has used cannabis for 14 years to control the symptoms of his MS. We're talking about individual rights and individual responsibilities. He's advocating to give parents like Nicole Shutland and her daughter Lucy the same opportunity. Lucy's tried 11 different prescription medications with no lasting success. Nicole says medical marijuana could be the answer. This is not, <laughs> this is not fake hope. This is real. But some medical groups have come out against issue three, including the Ohio State Medical Association, saying clinical research should be focused on the medical benefits of marijuana, but more evidence is needed to fully justify its use. That's on three. Victoria still thinks it'll help. Well, I know so many people. There's just, it's unlimited. Now, there have been several members of the medical community to urge voters to say no to issue three, including the. Hospital Association, the Ohio Nurses Association, and the Cleveland Clinic. Today, the Pataskala City Council published its opposition to the ballot issue, citing monopoly concerns and potential risks to children. Colleen? Thank you, Renee. The University of Akron poll also took a look at issue two, the anti-monopoly provision meant to stop the marijuana grow operations. Overall, voters are supportive of that issue, voting 40 to 28 percent, but 32 percent are still undecided.